Jack Skellington. You probably already knew that. So, uh, welcome. Now, you may be wondering why you're here. Or, maybe I should be wondering that question. But, no. I already know. You wanna know why? Because you're just here to hear a story. A very spooky tale that shivers the spine off your bones. Now, what is it about the scary tale that seems so frightening? Well, today's a certain day. A certain Friday, if you will. With a certain number on it, which you all are very familiar with. And this story is just about that. But I must warn you, it's pretty frightening. What's that? You don't think that's, it, it's really that scary? Oh, because I found the movies out now. It's just so ridiculous, huh? Oh, well. Fine, then. But you'll be liking this story. No, not at all. Let's get started. Now, I must warn you. It's not all what it seems. We're here. Ugh, oh, finally. Well, guess this is it, huh? Ugh, oh, my fin was gonna pull out or something. Jesus. Eh, yeah. Well, uh, Bruce, you and I just get some of the stuff and head inside and settle it all down. And, uh, Stan, I guess you can just look around or just see if the uh, relatives are here or something. Um, alright, I guess. Here. Eh, well that's creepy. Yeah, I'm going inside. Yeah. Huh, look at that. That's a lot of cat food. It's just one bag, man. Yeah. Whatever. You know, I found something really weird today. Really? Yeah, that is, it's the birthday of that boy, Jason. He drowned in the lake near the camp a few miles from here. And you know, on the same night he killed so many people. Well, the first time it happened it was his mother, Pamela Vorgis. But she got beheaded by the last survivor, who died a couple, like a year later. Jesus. And we're near a place that literally has all that, huh? Well, I'm just gonna go. Maybe we can look up more of this stuff anyways. I don't think I've ever heard about it until now. Yeah, you probably should have. I'm just gonna go check some stuff. <sighs> huh? Hey, Stan! What's up, buddy? Eh, uh, going on good, uh... Finding relatives? Nah. He said they won't be here until morning. But, uh... Doing good, you look a little worried. Yeah, it's just this vibe from the whole place. It's uh really getting to me. Something feels off here, you know? Yeah, they get a vibe from this place too. But hey, it's just a simple couple of nights here and it won't be long. We'll be okay. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Um where's Bruce? Just unpacking some of the stuff. I'll be in the room, so I'll meet you there. Yeah, alright. What the heck is happening? Don't know, kinda under some furniture. Let's see what's inside. this? A camera? Let's show the Bruce. He might know something. Definitely one of those old picture cameras. 
And sometimes we'll take some videos on them, but nah, it's mostly just pictures. So does it lead to anything? Hmm, I don't know. Let's turn it on. What's that battery? I'll go uh, see if there's like a trigger or something in the bag. I'll go help you. I'm gonna expect this thing a little bit more. Here, what all it is. Take a look at it. Alright, just be careful. Here we are. Let's get cracking in here. Look at this. Did you find it? That's really, you just found this. What does it say? I don't know, let's see. There's the moon view from the eternal sun. Tonight we shall seek the light. On who dares cross your land. Rise again and kill till death. Any idea what that means? Not a clue. What kind of weird crappy stuff is that in a backpack? Don't know. Keep looking in this bag. So it's charging for the camera in here. Yeah. Except for nothing, that Bruce? Bruce, what's in the castle, man? What's with you? Br Bruce? Case of Gorky's like the kid who drowned that hockey mask killer? That myth? It's not a myth. He's real. Those things really did happen. And I think that paper right there? Once I read it, Bruce had the hockey mask and the machete. It means someone cursed this place to have Jason's soul attack people to leave the town alone. And we're just a bait. Kind of like The Shining, which like torrents, like it takes over somebody and makes them kill their family and friends. So now Bruce is after us because Jason has taken over his soul. Oh, uh, and I read it. Idiot! Man, I read it out loud just for me. It. Don't be your fault, man. There's gonna be a way we can beat this, and it's not your fault. We just didn't know. We both didn't know. How do we beat this curse? It said rise again and kill till dawn, so if we survive till dawn, the curse will be broken. Bruce will be free. Alright, this is start, but we're gonna survive long enough for him not to kill us. We'll find him. Come on, come on, Bruce. Come on, Bruce. Step out of here. Step out of here. Step out of here. Yeah, come on, man. Come on, man. This isn't you at all. That killer's in your head. Mm. 
Bruce? It's Don. It's broken. Oh. <coughs> Ugh. Your dad? What? What? What happened? Where am I? Okay, you're in the room, and two, it's a long story. Not really. Hey, what's this? Hey, Jason mask. Think you should wear it for Halloween? Absolutely not. Um, okay. Well, that was the second chapter of that story. Pretty sure, to be honest. But, I didn't explain so much of the first part. I'm not sure what left. Well, I might as well get going. Get my own down. Halloween is a special night after all.